am Em Angel, and today I will be reviewing the 2017, I think, Netflix original series, Dark. It's the prequel to the movie Light. <laughs> no, it's a sci-fi TV series. It has intrigue, it's German, and occurs in Germany. There is English voiceover. I don't know if there are other languages. I didn't even see a German voiceover. And that would be weird, because the original is clearly in German. So maybe Netflix Canada didn't buy the licensing rights or something for the German voice. Or maybe I'm just wrong. But basically, it's dubbed and it's sci-fi. I have to say, based on the trailer, I wasn't too pumped to watch this series. I felt like it could be really good or it could go terribly south. After another reviewer recommended this, I thought, okay, I trust this person's opinion, I'm gonna go for it. And I'm very, very glad I did. This TV show is so, so much up my alley. It is the type of series I love, type of sci-fi I love. And if you're like me, you will love it too. Let me explain. Netflix has another series called The OA. I watched it twice. I adored this series. It is everything I talk about, I think I breathe, a psychological thriller, somewhat, spiritual and philosophical, it's supernatural, yet very much grounded in reality in that are we dealing with mental illness, are we dealing with delusion, or are we dealing with metaphysical properties, the beyond, death, life, so many things we don't understand. It poses so many questions. If you are interested in things like law of attraction, tapping to your inner power and chakras and things of this nature, you're definitely gonna be interested in the OA. And I think if you also just like interesting investigative stories, suspense, drama, thrillers, but yeah, fine, I'll say thrillers. I think you would really like Dark as well. It plays with space and time, more time than space, but somewhat. It reminds me of Lost and how it treats time. I love it, I really love it. It's hard to talk about it without spoiling it. I know someone who complained about the dubbing, they couldn't see past it. Sure, it's not perfect. Sometimes the people do talk like they're reading a script and not like the original character or the voice doesn't match the facial expression on screen. I'm mad at you. What? No, that doesn't go together. Part of it reminded me of the movie It, color grading and things of this nature. Actually, just the beginning, child abduction. Oh, Stranger Things, it does have a Stranger Things vibe. It has that European sensibility that I appreciate when it comes to this type of movie, this type of story, science fiction, where American movies often go to the extremes, they go big, they go action-packed. Let's say, for example, time travel. They will push it to weird, extremes and take it to weird places. There's a series that I also appreciated, Dirk Gently or Gentry on Netflix. Maybe it's British, it does feel British in its humor. I find that American goofiness in that kind of series, and I appreciate it, sure, but I'd also like you to take these concepts and present them to me seriously. What if we could travel through space and time? What could that look like? Give me something that I can actually digest that it can really make sense that doesn't have tons of holes in it. I'm not looking for Swiss cheese here. I'm looking for a solid story. I have to say Fringe has ruined me. If you watch the series Fringe, very quickly a lot of things are going to add up and you might find the show a bit predictable. I mean, it's classic. The sound design is interesting. They choose some maybe atypical sounds at times and I appreciate it for the most part. However, sometimes I wasn't feeling it. Like there's a moment where you just hear a bunch of bees swarming. I don't know, I could have done without the bees. It's creative. I'll give you that. My advice to you would be to remember names and actually pay attention to the show. Don't watch it while you're playing Sudoku or on your phone. You might miss small things if you wanna figure it out before the show takes you there. But you don't really have to be 100% invested to get what's happening. Like I said, if you've watched shows like Fringe, very quickly you'll figure out what's going on and where the story may lead and you'll just really enjoy the ride. I'm just saying this because I'm a person who doesn't 
remember names easily at all, whether it be people in my life, great people in history, celebrities, or characters in movies or TV shows. I'm terrible with names, but it helps to know them because they throw around a lot of names and often you want to be like, oh, that's what they're talking about. Okay, I see. Because we deal with time, I'm just going to say characters change and you want to remember their names to know whose story we're following and piece together scenes link them to one character. You'll see what I mean. The cinematography is polished, very Netflixy. I love Netflix for investing in shows that have great visuals. They deliver on the cameras they use, the audio, just great visual experiences at the very least, and auditory. Can you say auditory? Auditive? Oh, and the soundtrack is so cool. Oh, <laughs> there's so many 80s throwbacks. And if you loved 80s pop rock, you're gonna love all the references. Every time a song came on, I was just like, ah. Forget about the show. Can we just stick with this? There are a few German 80s pop references that I was just like, meh, don't know this. If you enjoy philosophy and science fiction in your entertainment, if you enjoy European sophistication, if you enjoy metaphysics, questions about free will, linearity of time, the illusion of time, explorations of how the past informs the present and leads to the future, or in reverse order, <laughs> I think you'll really enjoy the approach to this TV show. I don't feel like I need to go into the spoiler segments. I don't know if there really is anything to debate or elaborate on. I feel like the end wraps it up pretty well, closes the loop, so to speak. So I don't see there being a sequel. I wish there were, and they could take the magical item of this TV show and new characters, new story. There won't be the same intrigue, but it will still be an interesting approach to storytelling and it actually making sense. It's refreshing and it's entertaining. I don't know, that's what I thought about the show Dark on Netflix. What did you think? Please let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, like this video, subscribe to Music Game News, and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. Dankeschön. I think that's how you say it. Dankeschön. Danke for watching. I'm Belle Schnickel, signing off. Peace.